Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, and today we're going to be seeing how you can set anything to smoke in Blender 2.83. And without further ado, let's get into it. And if you don't have Blender, I'll put the link down in the description below. Okay, so go ahead and open up Blender, and you can use literally any shape you'd like. Um, I already have a bowl set here uh, that I've made previously, if you want to know how to make that. Um, I'll put the link right up here, and you can go to my cloth video, and it shows you how to make the bowl. Okay, so set something to smoke like this, you go to object with it selected, quick effects, quick smoke. And then with that, you'll see something like this. Uh, then you'll have to S shift Z, like that, and S Z, seal it up, G Z, put that up there. And with the bowl, click on it, go to the object settings, viewport display, display as, and then solid. And then click on the domain, and then go to the physics settings, Resolution divisions, change it to 110. And then N to 150. And change the timeline here to 150. Shorten that down. And then change the type, it should say replay. Uh, change it to modular. And then with that, go to the bowl. Check initial velocity, the Z axis, 0.5. And then go back to the domain, and then hit bake data. That should take uh, a couple minutes, so I'll be back when that's all baked up. Alright, so now that that's done baking, some of you are wondering how I got this window over here. It uh, really doesn't matter, but I was just checking out rendered view while I could do solid view. I'll explain if you want me to split screen in a different video. Let me just file save as real quick. Alright, so now that that's done baking, you play your animation through. It looks pretty good. Alright, so now that's done, it's really all you have to do in object view. Now you can go ahead and go to render view and we'll mess around with the camera and the light. So, on this window over here, we can pull over. Or, if you still don't know how to get the split screen up here at the top, you can go to rendered view. But right now, it's simpler for me to just go to render view in this screen over here. So tap on the light, go to light settings, change it to sun, and then strength, go to 5, shift A, mesh, add a plane, G Z, scale it out a lot, and then go to world settings, color, make it all the way black. And then click on the camera again. G, Shift, Z. I'm going to move it over here. Then take this little yellow dot right here and position the shadow where you want it to be. Now we're going to do some camera. <laughs> Go over here. And uh, N for navigation. View. Lock camera to view. So let me zoom in a little more. Alright, lock camera to view. Click on the camera. Go to camera settings. End to 1000. Okay, then zoom out with the camera, kind of find that good position, it's kind of over the domain. And that looks good. And just like that, you can go to output settings, change it to 30 frames per second, uh, go to PNG to AVI JPEG, quality to 100%, name your file. Click the file button, hit accept. Now, file, save. Play our animation through one more time. Sure looks good. Alright. And then you can go click render and render animation. Alright, and as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more, and peace out.